Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're at the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista, California. What does that have to do with cars? Let's find out. This is a place where BMW is working together with athletes to help them go for the gold. The technology we're using is a BMW Velocity Measurement System. The system specifically was designed for the long jump. We're interested in how fast they run down a runway and how high they jump whenever they take off. It's still tracking, go back. Because it's really important to know about the takeoff velocity, both vertical and horizontal, which is hard to get quickly and easily. Oh. It's completely portable. I set up a 3D camera, and the 3D camera has to be a certain distance from the runway and for a certain field of view. We track a specific point. We put a golf cap on the runner so that the template of the golf cap can be matched by the computer and can be tracked. The fact that we get these velocities right away, we've never had that before. A coach and athlete can go and look at the output. The coach can say, oh, you need to make an adjustment. And the athlete can go back and do it, and we can come back immediately and see if it made the effect that they wanted. Oh, that was a good job. And when we get with these Olympic athletes, just a one or two percent change is going to make the difference of whether they make the team and then whether they're going to be able to get a medal for the, for the country. Here at the tech office, we're really looking a lot at driver assistance systems. And this includes radars and cameras and all kinds of other sensors that understand what goes on uh, in the environment. This ties in uh, to Chula Vista because our stereo camera is looking for the jumper and it's finding his position in 3D. But when you're in a car, you really want to know that you know there's a pedestrian 20 meters in front of you. All this is more information that's going to go into the car as information for the driver or as information directly to the car so that a really safe, intelligent decision can be made. All right, so this is a stock 535, but you guys have done a few modifications to it. What have you done? Um, what we've done with this is we've put a stereo camera set up in the windshield, so it's looking forward for whatever might come in front of the car. Now, are these like super special, expensive, high-end cameras? These are webcams that you can get at the electronics <laughs> store. Really? For, just yeah. regular old webcams? Yep. You know, we're trying to do things really quick here. We're really trying to understand if something's going to work or something's not going to work, and so this is kind of the ethos we take. So, lots of sensors, cameras, everything is, is bringing this information. What's processing all this? <laughs> wow, that is a lot of computer. What are you guys running back there? We have a quad-core i7. We have two other network computers. We have special charging infrastructure. We have inertial system. We have some radios. And it takes all this to run two webcams? I mean... No, no. This car is a, a general playground for all the experiments that we really want to run here. Okay, okay. So we have all the infrastructure here for them to do that. So the driver's getting a lot of information, the car's getting a ton of information. Do you see this leading to more active safety uh, integration? Uh, definitely. If this car recognizes there's a child walking across the road at a certain speed, maybe the driver doesn't see it, but if the car understands that information, there can be an invasive maneuver that's really just done by the car itself. So this is oh, really wow. part of our research that we're doing here. USA Track and Field has a mantra. They say that it's science-based, coach-driven, athlete-centered. All three of us, we're adding a little wee bit because yep. the athlete feels it, and the coach does most of their work on the field in a qualitative sense. Mm. They use quantitative information often away from the field. Now we're giving them something that's quantitative, directly related to what they're working on that they can use in the training session to help inform them a little better. Ah! 
So a lot of times we see tech transfer move from the racetrack to your garage, but we've never seen it go from the racetrack to track and field. And this is all part of BMW's Olympic effort, and we're following this all the way across the pond to the 2012 Games in London. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time for TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasmar.